Jimmy Adams celebrated the birth of his second child by cracking the fastest 50 of his T20 career off 22 balls as Hampshire defeated Essex Eagles by 17 runs to open up their NatWest T20 Blast campaign with their fifth win in seven against these opponents. James Vince batted after winning the toss in spite of the overcast conditions and it took him and Michael Carberry until the end of the second over to find the boundary for the first time. With that done, Carberry began to find his feet quickly. This what those at the Aegeus Bowl have come to expect from these two openers, one of the most formidable and explosive in the domestic T20 game. There were seven fours in the six overs of power play, by the end of which Hampshire had 45 runs on the board, this pair's latest 50-run partnership arriving in the seventh. It was the introduction of Adil Malik, the brother of Pakistan international Shoaib, which broke the stand. Carberry on a typically brisk 36, slashing into the deep where Kishan Vellani held on to end the partnership on 63. Essex had flown in their captain Ryan Tenderskarta, who arrived in the country at 6 in the morning and only signed the necessary registration documents on the team bus. He had Vince caught by Greg Smith, the Hampshire skipper on his way for 32. The home team had to wait until the 13th over for their first maximum. Adams the man to get it off Malik in an over that went for 11. Owe Shah then joined in, hitting this enormous six, one which could have put local flights at risk. Having gone to 141 for two with three overs to go, Hampshire were looking for a big finish and Shah was certainly providing that against his former club. However, he was out towards the end of over number 18, this time just failing to clear the rope to go for an excellent 32, which had been made off only 23 balls. Adams reached his superb 50 in the penultimate over with this single off Graham Napier. It had come off only 22 deliveries and it included five fours and two sixes. It was ending what has been a very special week for the 34-year-old. He was to finish unbeaten on 55 from 25 balls. Sean Irvin well held by Smith off the penultimate ball as Hampshire had to settle for a competitive 173 for four from their 20 overs. A total which would be a challenge to chase down even for a team of Essex's batting prowess. Especially when their batting started disastrously. I think Chris Wood was a happy chappy after he demolished Ryder Stumps with just his third delivery. Fidel Edwards backed that up with a wicket with his very first ball at the Aegeus Bowl. T20 debutant Nick Brown on his way with a total on five for two at the start of the third over. Villani tried to respond for the visitors, rather ruining Wood's analysis. His first over had brought him the wicket of Danger Man Ryder and had cost only two runs, but his second was hit for 16 with two fours and this six included. Smith then went after Danny Briggs, who was brought on inside the power play. The Eagles get into the end of their first six overs with 42 runs on the board for both openers back in the pavilion. Then on 21, Villani was another to be comprehensively bold as Yasser Arafat celebrated his home debut with a wicket with his fourth delivery. Hampshire had a fourth by the time the halfway stage of the innings was reached. Smith now on his way for 30 as he was taken behind off his namesake Will after his decision to switch to around the wicket. Wickets fell at regular intervals as the home team began to take complete control of this game. Substitute fielder Liam Dawson has one of the safest pairs of hands on the circuit and so he was never going to miss this chance offered by James Foster who was out for seven. 17-year-old Callum Taylor making his first senior appearance was then bowled by Briggs to go for a couple. Briggs, one of five bowlers used, of which none went around the park. Napier came and went quickly. The ball after he sent this delivery from Wood into the far distance. A typically enormous hit from the well-built player. The all-rounder was taken behind by Adam Wheater for 13, leaving with his side on 135 for seven and needing 39 for the last 18 balls while running out of batsmen. Hampshire had one less to deal with when Malik was run out without facing a ball. And that was just about that. A victory against one of the fancied teams this year, all but a foregone conclusion. 
Tender Scarter showed no signs of jet lag or a tiredness which may have been expected. He flew in specifically for this game, which shows his commitment to the cause. He'd made a 50 off 33 balls with five fours, and he just about kept the game interesting with a couple of sixes, which had some worrying about a more nervous finish than might have been necessary. But when he was bold, having taken the target down to 18 required off the final five balls of the match, the fat lady could start to sing, and the victory was Hampshire's. Ten to headed back to the airport after a useful contribution of 68 off 44 balls. The win was confirmed next ball when Yasser Arafat was again rewarded for bowling straight to finish with figures of 3 for 27 from his three and a half overs. Hampshire could celebrate an excellent victory, one for which the margin was 17 runs. We could not have asked for a better start. It was a very professional all-round performance and next up are Kent back at the Aegeus next Friday. They also started their campaign with a victory over Sussex. It should be another very entertaining night and we hope to see you there.